annoying, right? Honking is a very serious problem in countries like India. But we also just observed a very interesting scientific phenomenon. As, did you see that as the ambulance came towards me, its pitch and volume seemed to increase? But when it went away from me, the pitch and volume seemed to decrease. Why does this happen? What is the reason behind this? Is it a scientific concept? This question struck a man named J.C. Doppler 150 years ago. My name is Saurav Kaili and I am going to explain to you the Doppler effect. Originally, J.C. Doppler proposed this effect for light, not sound. In his sleep lies, on the colored light of binary stars and some other stars in the universe, he explained a very interesting phenomenon called redshift and blue shift. We shall deal with this later in the video. It was scientist Bayes Ballot who confirmed that it worked for sound as well. But now, let us get into the Doppler effect. Recollect how at the beginning of the video, the sound of the siren seemed to increase and then decrease. Let us now consider a stationary object emitting sound. Its waves are in the shape of concentric circles whose radii increases equally in all directions. But what if this object has a velocity? What will happen is that the waves in front of the object will compress and the waves behind the object will expand. Why does this happen? This happens because since the object has a velocity, in this case it is moving to the right, the center for each new wave is also displaced slightly to the right. This leads to an elongated form which becomes more elliptical than circular. So it leads to a compression in front of the object and an expansion behind the object. So if you stand in front of this object, the frequency will seem to increase. This happens because the waves are hitting you faster than the other side. On the other hand, if you stand behind this object, the waves will hit you more slowly. This leads to a decrease in frequency. That is why when we heard the siren coming towards us, the pitch seemed to increase. And when it left us, the pitch seemed to decrease. But what happens if an object travels at the speed of sound? What happens is, the waves in front of the object are compressed so much that the distance between each wave becomes zero. They start forming a big shock wave. If an object travels even faster than sound, the waves will be compressed together. They will be forced together so much that they cannot get out of each other's way. And then a single big shock wave will be released, which travels at the speed of sound. This is known as a sonic boom. If you want to get into the mathematics and actually calculate the observed frequency for an observer, we can use the following formula. Here, the velocity of the particle is measured, the velocity of the wave is measured. Here, f represents the observed frequency and c represents the speed of sound. As I mentioned earlier in the video, Doppler effect applies also to light, not only sound. We can use this to calculate whether a star is moving towards or away from us. Remember I talked about redshift and blue shift at the beginning of the video? If a star moves away from us, the frequency shifts to the red end of the spectrum. This creates a reddish appearance known as redshift. If a star moves towards us, the frequency shifts to the blue end of the spectrum, giving a bluish appearance known as blue shift. Do you observe that if you are in the car while the car is honking, you do not observe the Doppler effect of the horn. Why? Because the relative motion between you and the car is zero. But why are we studying this? Are there any applications to this scientific concept? It turns out there are many applications of Doppler effect. But we are going to discuss the most interesting one of them, the color Doppler. The probe emits sound waves, which hit the arteries and veins at an angle, preferably less than 90 degrees. And the reflected waves are then captured by the probe itself and displayed on a screen. The grey areas represent the outline of the blood vessels. And the direction of blood flow is represented by one of the two colors, red and blue. This provides incredible insight into the human body. Star Wars was recorded using a Doppler effect. So, may the force be with you.